good afternoon my dear youtube viewers today we will switch over to the new topic the name is social research in many question papers from 2000 onwards this question came then we will go through the history of social research is much more ancient than the discipline called sociology <coughs> therefore it means discovering some facts concealed in social phenomenon or some law governing it p v young said it is a systematic method of discovering the new facts or verifying the old facts their sequences interrelationship causes explanations and the natural laws that governing them social research is highly significant tool used by sociologists in social sciences also and it helps to understand the social process scientifically it gives the insight into the hidden facts the social values and the ideals by revealing their link with the natural laws or another way systematized effort to gain the new knowledge we will call it as research aim of research it primarily is a theory which had no relation with the human welfare there are two aims theoretical aim it studies man to the group or man to the men therefore subject matter is comprised of social facts it includes biological ecological cultural and anthropological data which is relevant to explanation of man's behavior in relation to the society many social scientists are understanding the laws that are bearing on it second category is utilitarian aims the social scientist is bereft of every practical value but this will be mistake though it may not help direct but the research indirectly help to the welfare of the human kind because research used to involve and helps to us by reducing the social conflicts and tensions and also delinquent and deviant behavior like decoids and jadis that is juvenile delinquents homicide and suicide and may not be the last so the another one is rape and its related matters etc social behavior is not an isolated phenomenon it will be affect on many environmental and biological factors besides the social values of the given community or society by incorporating the finding the faults more chances to bring the reforms through the legal measures mrs young is also ex emphasized that the social research has no direct connection or relation with either social planning of politics or political arena executive and about the social ills it purports to understand the social phenomenon and it is not interested in practical reforms of society the main aim of social research is it may be clearly born in the mind it is easy to understand of the social phenomenon and therefore social research is primarily a theoretical discipline it is a science of understanding the society and not an art of confronting or influencing in it once again we will rebrief the subject matter the social research which is a general st statement we can use it in many ways the social research the history of social research is much more ancient than the discipline of called sociology therefore it means discovering some facts concealed in social phenomenon or some laws governing it p v young illustrated it is a systematic method of discovering new facts or also verifying the old facts therefore the sequences interrelationships causes explanations and the natural laws that are governing them 
सोशल रिसर्च इज हाईली सिग्निफिकेंट टूल यूज बाय द सोशियोलॉजिस्ट इन सोशल साइंसेस एंड इट हेल्प्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द सोशल प्रोसेस साइंटिफिकली इट गिव्स द इनसाइट इनटू द हिडन फैक्ट्स द सोशल वैल्यूज एंड आइडियल्स बाय रिवीलिंग देयर लिंक विथ नेचुरल लॉस आर अनदर वे सिस्टमेटाइज्ड इफेक्ट टू गेन द न्यू नॉलेज what we call it as research the aim of the research primarily the theory had no relation with human welfare so we can say we can study the thing aims in two ways first is theoretical aim it studies man to the men that is the group therefore subject matter is comprised of social facts it includes biological ecological cultural and the anthropological data which is relevant to explanation of man's behavior in relation with the society many social scientists are understanding the laws that bear understanding the laws that bearing on it the second aim is utilitarian aim the social scientist is bereft of every practical value but this will be mistake do it may not help direct but the research indirectly help to the welfare of the human kind because research used to involve and help to them by reducing the social conflicts and tensions and also delinquent and deviant behavior like the dacoits and juvenile delinquents and finally homicide and suicide and last rape and its related matters social behavior is not an isolated phenomenon it will affect on many environmental biological factors in besides this social values of the given community or the society by incorporating the finding falls more chances to bring the reforms through the legal measures mrs young also emphasized that the social research has no direct connection or relation with either social planning of political leaders or executives about the social ills it purports to understand the social phenomenon and it is not interested to practice in practical reforms of society the main aim of social research is particularly it may clearly born in the mind first of its kind which is easy to understand of the social phenomenon and therefore social research is primarily a theoretical discipline it is a science of understanding the society and not an art of controlling or replacing it this is by this today's lecture is completed this is bindu taking leave from the youtube platform please kindly go through and do the subscribe okay good day